Dan, how you doing? Can you hear me? You got me? Hey, Dan? Can you hear me, Dave? Yep, I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I was muted for some reason on the bottom side. Let's see. So I'm trying to claim host here. Host rename. Uh, there we go. Participants, me, Bob. Okay. I think we're waiting for Rob. He might be on, but no camera. His name he hasn't is... signed in yet. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to figure out the host thing here. Well, they ask you in the beginning if you're the host, didn't they? Yeah. It says sign in as host. Yeah, there you go. Well, I guess I got to put all my stuff in. At the top right hand corner, it says share content. Yeah. Pre over. And from there, you're on your own. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm trying to sign in with Google. It did say that it's being recorded, though. That's good. It, yeah, it is. It, it, the recording thing is on. Enter host key. There, finally. Okay. 380. There we go. Ta da! We're good. We're getting there. We lost Miriam. So we got Bob. You gained Bob. Oh, there she is. <laughs> there she is. Okay. <laughs> and And we are recording. Okay. Good. I've got 6.30 on the button. I'll wait a couple seconds here for David's chair to stop spinning. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, Bob, are you going to take notes? Rob? Yep, I got him. You got him? Thank yep. you. Um, Mr. Bob Vincent, I got a note from him. He's planning to join our meetings in the future. He was unable to join this one because of personal um, reasons he was unavailable. So, 
Okay, Bob. And well, welcome. Happy summer. Hope every. I, I, this is. I was reminded this is a light meeting, so it's just kind of to get back into the swing of things. Um, so let's go ahead and just we'll start with the uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. So I pledge allegiance to the, to flag, the flag, flag of the United, United States, States, States of America, America and, and to the Republic for which, which it stands, one nation, under God, 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 indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for all. For all. Okay, I'm I'm breaking in new computers in my house, so I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna put the stupid chip on the on the table. Um, the new computer didn't didn't work, so uh, I'm still breaking it in. Um, I hope everybody's okay, and I, I we'll just kick this off with the uh, the VSO report from from David, if you if you don't mind doing that. Not at all. Uh, the VSO report, Veterans Advisory Board, August 16th, 2022. Wakefield Veterans Monthly Food Bank will be held tomorrow, Wednesday, August 17th. We have two part-time hourly assistants who will be trained in the process and will help with the distribution and the assembly of the items in Melrose, then back to Wakefield. We currently have 21 clients from the food bank program. This will free up my office time which has become quite busy due to both the Camp Lejeune compensations and the PACT Act decision. Uh, chapter 115s, we have 11 currently in the Chapter 115 program in Wakefield. The COLA increase went out with the July checks and the new recertifications will, uh, will be done from now on in July and December, uh, but before it was done the first of the year and then in June, they just changed it. But it's to their advantage because the COLA reports now come out uh, in uh, the change in the COLA cost of living raises come out in July. Uh, we helped one of our uh, Vietnam veterans from the relief fund last month to help pay his rent. The family was grateful, as was the landlord. His wife has filed for Social Security and will be getting results of the application within eight weeks. They also refiled for the disabled son who lives with them uh, through SSDI. So hopefully they will be able to be financially more stable. Uh, VA claims. We have processed four Camp Lejeune claims relating to the contaminated water and the veterans who have filed have received 100% compensation. They will be receiving treatments going forward from the VA. I have three additional claims to submit going forward as well. Homeless veteran. We were contacted by the Bedford VA of a veteran who is seeking shelter in Wakefield, but she does not qualify for the Section 8 housing as she is 100% disabled and makes too much money. The same team has been contacted to assist her and relocate her. The roll to DC. Tuesday, August 30th, the meet and greet for the veterans going to Washington, DC in September will be held at the Saugus VFW at 9.30. The local television and newspapers will be there to interview the participants. We're all set to roll and are looking forward to the adventure and historical visit. The new district director for veteran services that covers Saugus, Wakefield, and Melrose is Roseanne Trionfi Mazzuccelli. I can be Italiano. She began in July and is, uh, is located in the Milano Center in Melrose. He comes from the Winthrop Veterans Service Office and was the past president of the MVSOA. The Coffee Social. The monthly Veterans Coffee Social is breaking for the summer as it has been, and we are resuming it now September 17th, the third Saturday of the month. We'll be discussing everything from Camp Lejeune to the PACT Act, burn pit information, to the trip to DC. Coffee and donuts will be provided compliments of honeydew. Veterans Day, Bob Cancelier has been working on finding us a guest speaker and he will let us know his pro progress and the initiatives of the candidates. As always, 
the Veterans Service Office continues to reach out to the community for any veteran who may need our assistance from navigating benefits to agencies who can give them support to any qualifying veterans or spouse for the Massachusetts Chapter 115 program. In my hours of operation until, well, uh, this is, I didn't change that. This is a copy and paste thing. I'll fix that, uh, Bob. My hours of operation are uh, now Monday through Thursday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 1.30. Uh, please call the Office of Further Information, 781-246-6377. I will make those corrections, Bob, and Paul, and get them out to you. I was busy this week. I had to do some cut and pasting on this VSO report. It's been a crazy summer uh, for this end of the stick. Uh, I'm back to working the three days a week, although I'm still picking up some uh, residuals from uh, helping out in Melrose and Saugus, and I have a couple from Stoneham as well. So it's been extremely busy. Not that, that doesn't bother me when I'm busy. It's just I want to be effective in the process. So there you go. Well, it's, it's hell on your golf game. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, any questions for David on the uh, VSO report? I, the only question I have, David, is with the approval of uh, the recent bill at the federal level for toxic exposure, are you getting any feedback on some of those claims? I started getting some questions today, as a matter of fact. Uh, one person had contacted on my voicemail and asked if uh, that is going to also play into the uh, Vietnam veterans uh, with the burn pits they had. Uh, it was different burn pits, but I think that's already been presumptive that it's a cancer carcinogens in the vapors, the smell, and everything. So. The, the message I saw was we can begin to process those immediately. Yeah, yeah. I've done that. I've got the, the Camp Lejeune ones are in, and some that I have in, I'm going to redo a, a 21 5 26 document, which is making the claim for each individual effect that takes place, uh, be it the burn pits. Uh, or post-traumatic stress, or if it's uh, aggravations as a result of that. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate your help on that. Um, anybody, I'm gonna go around the table at this particular point, just randomly. Um, Miriam, any, anything that you have to offer? Kind Did of, I have to offer? Yeah. Well. I'm in Nova Scotia until October, so I'm not in a lot of uh, contact with the Gold Star Wives. We had our national convention in Boston, which was 100% successful. Um, it exhausted me, but we got through it. And it was, uh, I hope you guys that came enjoyed the, your time, the, the banquet. Um, we are now in the process of uh, just getting all the bylaws and resolutions and everything that we we voted on into so that everybody has the updates and everything so we haven't really our first real official board meeting is next month um we've had a couple of special meetings on confidential things but um the real and i am no longer on the board well i'm I can go on and listen, but I don't have a vote anymore because I had to come off as president. So I'm the vice president. I do go on with my president, um, who's been having a lot of family issues. Um, I've been going on for her, and then I have her vote. But um, most of the time, I'm not going to be on there. But I will find out what's going on in there. She'll keep me posted. And I'll anything new that I can tell you guys about, I'll let you know. I mean, we were pushing for the... Um, Toxic, to toxic exposure bill to go through. Um, that was one of the things that we were working on. So we were all beside ourselves thrilled when that was uh, signed because um, we all felt it never should have had to happen. They should have just been, it should have been. It's the same thing that the Vietnam veterans went through. You know, why are you fighting it? So we were, we were elated at the meeting when it was announced that it was uh, that it had gone through, but so that's about right now. All I have come September, I'll be getting a little more information on things. Okay, thank you. Yep. Joe, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? 
Good. Yeah, so uh, not a whole lot to share. Uh, just one thing I wanted to throw out there, and I'm not sure uh, uh, if anyone has any ideas, but essentially at work, we have in October, we have, we call it giving month, uh, where you know all employees kind of do this uh, donation of time, money, whatever, and then the company uh, also matches that. So uh, just talking to our local, I work for Microsoft. So the local Microsoft office was interested in doing something with veterans. Um, so any ideas that we have, um, preferably an event in October, it could be something like, you know, food bank, it could, it could be a singular event. Um, but just wanted to put that out to the group. If anybody had any ideas, um, I'd love to talk more about it so I can get the more people I can get, the more money we can get. So um, that's all I have. So I'm going I'm, I'm gonna to follow up with you on a one on one here. But um, I think up in the North Shore in Ipswich, there's a dedication ceremony in October for the Gulf War on Terror that might fit your company sure. very, very well. And uh, Karen Taylor up in Gloucester, the veteran service officer is a point of contact um, that can kind of sort of guide us, but I'll follow up on an email to you with information. I don't have much else, much more than that, but that's- uh, Okay, that'd that's be great. Event. That would be a good event for your organization to get involved in. Awesome. Robert. Uh, hello, a couple of things. First, I saw the notice in the paper about the Purple Heart decorating, you know, the, the memorial. I um, It said the Veterans Advisory Board did all this and I'm reading it like it's news to me too. I'm like, huh, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know we did that. So I, I don't know if I missed an email or whatever, but I thought it was, it was great to see that in the paper and uh, for us to continue to support that kind of stuff. That um, was, Dan, Dan, Bob, I'm going to talk just for a second. Uh, yeah. Dan, Dan and Lois uh, had the lights all set up. They did the work on it. Uh, I kind of helped them out a bit, but uh, he wanted to put it in saying that it was the advisory board's uh, idea of the program. He, uh, kudos to them, but they were the ones who really spearheaded it uh, using us as a catalyst. So. Uh, awfully generous of you guys uh, with your time and, and, and the mention to the board. Thanks, Dan and Lois. That was great. It, it actually started two years ago with just some purple discs on the lights. Uh, last year, we put some more lights on the hedges in front. And this year we expanded on those lights. We pick up some purple lights, you know, that are one of these 75% off, you know, Christmas, <laughs> light, you know, Christmas tree shop stuff. And we de decorate them on there. I also, next year, maybe I can floodlight it in purple. And it'll show up even, even better. Well, but be you, I'd be happy to help if you want to let us know. <laughs> yeah, we, we had, I had talked to uh, Paul and uh, Dave was down there also with it. it. It took all of 15 minutes to do so. <laughs> Well, it was a nice thing. I, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that, you know, I, I noticed and, and it was good that the paper picked it up. Um, but, you know, personally, I continue to volunteer once. It's only once a month. I do what I can. But the first Tuesday of every month, I serve lunch over at the New England Homeless Veterans Center downtown. It's right around the corner from my office. And I, uh, I just actually hired a vet on my team uh, who I'm going to get involved in that. So it's, it's you know, it's a it's an enriching experience, so I wish I could do more of it. It's the kind of thing I want to spend more time on when I get through with the rat race. <clears throat> have you are you uh, in touch with Andy McCauley down there? Yeah, sure. I've met him. You know, through, I mean, he's not down in the lunch line a lot, but you know, I've met him through. You know, they do the gala down there, and you know, um, the hell of a nice guy. Uh, th th sort of one of one of these sort of selfless folks. <laughs> yeah, feel free to mention my name to him if you if you bump into him again. He's a good guy. Maybe I'll get a good apron uh, if I. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's about it. I believe they used to have uh, years ago, the director came from Wakefield. Uh, I think he lived on Elm Street. Yes. Oh, yeah. I can't remember his name. But... I think it's Mr. Tommy Lyons, isn't it? Lyons, yes. Oh. Yeah. He was the director there for a good number of years. Yeah, yeah. So Dan. Fill us in. How, how's your summer been and what, what do you got to look forward to? Well, I got up to Nova Scotia for about a week just to, just to turn the water on me. Like, and uh, I don't know if I'll get back up there this year. I, I guess I got to go back to turn the water off. <laughs> yeah, it'd up. be a good idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got my fill of Tim Horton's coffee. 
And uh, we'll see what happens the rest of the summer. Any any progress on uh, the Veterans Memorial? Uh, yeah, I don't know if Bobby Sardella is on. Um, I don't know either. Uh, he had said that he would try to jump in like, here. It looks like he's muted. Okay. And so he, he may be on, but muted. He might not know he's muted until we tell him, yeah. And his video is off also. So, yeah, I did ask. We had met with him, and uh, basically everything's a go. Uh, we, we tweaked up the sign a little bit. Uh, we also had a picture of the, I, I don't know if everybody got a picture I had sent out. Yes, I saw those. And uh, the, the only difference was this, the sign on the backstop was in red, the background, and white lettering with some white stars. Uh, Bobby said that it was kind of itching up on a budget, but, uh, you know, we're willing to go a little bit over that if we have to, but um, we want it to look nice. And he said the price of granite that would just be the two posts have doubled in price in the last year. So uh, we're hoping everything can get done and hopefully I can schedule a meeting maybe with Steve Mayo again. And uh, of course, Dennis Fazio to work out some of the other details. If uh, Paul, you can help on that, getting uh, Steve to get a, a meeting in on that. Yeah, I, I, I spoke with Steve last week on the phone and I did mention this to him. He, and he took a note to, to kind of dig in that to dig into that with uh, David and um, there should be more information. We should see some progress, uh, you know, some groundbreaking to where the signposts are kind of going in probably in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, I know you talked about the flagpole, maybe getting some AFRA money uh, to do that. And I don't know how that stands right now. Yeah, that's a possibility too. And, and that's something that's on the list. So, okay. Um, speaking of flag polls, um, I'm working this week, I'm actually gonna put an order in for a set of service flags um, so that they're available to the town for the Veterans Day ceremony. Um, so we don't have to borrow them from Melrose anymore. And um, the town has offered to split the costs. Uh, I will probably kick into that. And I believe we're gonna go, my first stop is to Blanchard Awning here in town to get the flags. Cause when, once they're delivered, that's good. I'll know where they are. And then um, my proposal to the town and see if this makes any sense, but right now is to put them in the conference room up in town hall. Um, just, just in, uh, Steve and I, Mr. Mayo and I have not come up with a good plan for where they should be permanently displayed. Um, so we're trying to figure that out. The library was mentioned, the schools were mentioned um, and they can be moved around. That's not a big problem, but for the immediate need, I think there's plenty of room in the conference room upstairs outside of Mr. Mayo's office. So, uh, Unless I'm told otherwise, that's probably where they're going to go. <laughs> uh, and um, you mentioned the veterans' field dedication. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have an agenda set up for that, but I think um, I, I have a couple ideas, and I'm looking at two events on Veterans Day: uh, the veteran field dedication, which is a short ceremony. It's an unveiling with Lois and, and Dan, and um, perhaps a guest speaker. Don't know that yet, but um, my my choice would be a few words spoken by somebody local. Okay, perhaps Bob Vincent. That might be a good opportunity for Bob Vincent to speak um, as a town council and a veteran. Um, that all depends on who we get for a speaker for the Veteran Day program. Uh, Bob has offered his services, um, should we need them as a keynote speaker for the, the Veteran Day program at the Galvin School at 11 o'clock. 
I've got some other irons in the fire that are currently working. And um, thanks to the United States Navy, they're actually very active and have been acknowledged. So, um, Paul, if, if I could just uh, take the liberty of contacting the American Legion and seeing if we can get a hold of maybe a color guard from them, or maybe their little rifle team to fire off a volley dedicating the field. But uh, with your permission, just to contact them. Yeah, please do. Um, believe they are the ones who named the field in 1934, so. It, yes, and if, if they're not able to do it, uh, I, I need to know um, because I'm learning that we can get a color guard from other sources. Okay. You know, if we need to do that. Um, I just but, to be local low with these guys and these guys, there's not many of them left. But I think it would be, you know, be an honor for me to have them there, be an honor for the town to have a Wakefield citizens there dedicating a Wakefield veterans uh, field. Yeah, and I, I agree with you. I'd like to keep it local. I don't want to have to go too far um, to get the support. Um, do, you, do you have their phone numbers? The, the only ones that I, I know, it's Sam Steller and uh, uh, Bill Walsh. And I don't know who the commander is. I think they rotate around. Yeah, that's what they do. Um, I, I don't know if it's bowling. I, think, I don't think Tom is right now. I think Bill Walsh may be, but I'm not sure. But Bill and, St and Sam are the only two, I believe, that do um, the uh, volley anymore. That's they, they do it every Memorial Day for the West Side. Yeah. But we always have to get a third person to step in because I think it's only those two. Okay. Yeah, John doesn't do John does not do the volley. No, John does not. Tom does not. I think it's just, it's still just Sam and that's who it was only those two. And I'm trying to remember who was the third person we got for the West Side. The, there's Tom I, Collins. I'll look it up. Yeah, Tom Collins and John. Um they, they help place the flags also. I don't think Sam yeah. helped place the flags, yeah. but uh, okay. But I would, I would like them all there, even if they aren't in it, because these are the guys that, that, that are the American Legion for Wakefield. And I think they should be recognized for naming this field. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. At the moment, is there any other business that we need to... Uh, address or list that anybody well, can yes um, when when robert said about about the new england uh shelter for the homeless in boston i wanted to say to joe that may be some place that you could contact because i know um the gold star wives my chapter um we do last year we did it this will be the second year i've did it we because we couldn't go in and serve them meals. We always go in and um, we wrap their Christmas presents and we have a day that we go in and, and serve a meal. Well, last year we couldn't do that. So they asked us to get cookies. So we all, we got more cookies that we knew what to do with. But this year also asking us if we would help them out with the um, baskets that they put together for um, those veterans that are finally going to their own home. And um, they raised funds to try and, I'm trying to find my newsletter so I have the information <laughs> in front of me. Um, they raised funds to, to get three, three kind of things. They have it all, they ask you to put them in a ba basket. That's what they put them in those plastic laundry baskets. And, and they're looking for like, cooking supplies and cleaning supplies and laundry supplies. But, to put into those baskets to have ready them when one of those veterans that's at the shelter finally is able to leave and go to his own place. They're looking for, they're always looking for help getting those things. And uh, we're going to have, when we have our little cookie drive brunch, we're going to do it for the, my chapter is going to do it anyway. But it might be something you could call. Um, they are yeah. always looking for donations. They're looking for donations for the Christmas presents. They're looking for donation for the baskets. They're, um, they're, they're just always looking for help with so many things. And, you know, it's expensive. And yeah. um, yeah. it might be some place that you could contact. They would be 
thrilled, I would think, um, to have something like that. Well, one yeah. of the, thing, I, the things I was, when I'm down there, and it's always the same food, Marion. So the Pine Street Inn Kitchen actually serves the, makes the food and sends it over to them. They, yeah. they don't have their own kitchen anymore. They actually took it out in order to add space for beds and stuff. And, and then the one kitchen serves both. But anyway, they send, they, they have this boiled chicken on, on a bun and they have, I mean, the food is really brutal and it's always the same. So I was like, do you ever accept a, you know, a company would spawn, remember when the general would come to the field, that's when the troops would get steak. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. they would just put a pork chop on their plate or something different, you know, through some sort of corporate, you know, service day or something. But anyway, that might be another thing to ask about, Joe. Yeah. Give them yeah. something other than the boiled chicken that they get every day for lunch with the stale bread and the, you know, one piece of American yeah. cheese only. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things that they, they, they look for to help the vets and be a place to start, maybe. A... So that's, that's so what memories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, in Mary, anybody, if, if there's other events like that, you know, I'd love to hear them. Essentially the way it works is for every hour that one of our employees don't, volunteers they they pay the nonprofit or the um they pay the organization 25 dollars an hour wow. um so we've done like a woman's place down on newbury street in boston where we'd go down and do something very similar and we get like 20 of us go down for three hours so 60 hours times 25 and they just cut them a check for that amount um and then there is a matching grant as well which is you know less people do that they donate more of their time and then um that comes with it but it, it can be any um any nonprofit as long as it's the 501c3 um and then it's um 25 an hour and we have these different we call them employee resource groups or ergs so within the boston area out of our out of our burlington office uh, we actually have a pretty large contingency of, uh, it's called militaries at Microsoft, uh, former military that are now at Microsoft. So, you, you know, we could probably get pretty good size head count and it's, um, you know, could really be anywhere in New England. I'm just trying to think of like the group that I manage is all right around the greater Boston area. So, um, you know, we could certainly go larger with it as well. Okay. And there, there are a few Wakefield residents that are actually not former military, but are uh, in like the local leadership at Microsoft that actually are from Wakefield. So it's actually garnering some support there as well. Well, Joe, if you could send me put your send me your email or put it in a do we have a chat on here? I don't even know. Um, there's a couple of things that are coming up that if people are interested in going to earn hours that, I mean, there's one thing they do every year that's um, that military's hero 9-11 service project that's done at the um, Rose County Greenway in Boston, mm -hmm. where they uh, build care packages, write letters of support, um, and that care packages both for those overseas and then for local veterans. Um, they have also a thing in, that's coming up, well, not coming up, it's not coming up until November, I think. Where do I find it? Uh, hmm. Uh, I know it's, oh, it's Cape Cod Cod Cares for our troops on November 26th. And that is, I'd have to get you more information on that. I believe it's it. No, it's in Hyannis. You have to arrive at 10 a.m. And they they do they do care packages for the troops down there, put them all together. And I guess a couple of the uh uh stellars, four of them actually, went for the first time to this last year and they said, let me tell you, be ready to work. Cause she said, we worked from the time we got there till the time we left and we were, and we never stopped. We were go, go, go the whole time. So, but it's something that, that uh, if you, some of your volunteers would live close by or wanted to go to something like that, that those are two things they might think about going to. Right. So I, I kind of, I have a question here and see if this works for everybody. Each one of us has got a couple events that are coming up in the fall that are um you know either tied to helping the veterans out or helping out the organizations like the uh, new england shelter can we put 
each one of you can use, uh, and I'll, I'll be glad to take this, but if you can give me those dates and what I'll do is craft something and put it in the item for the, in the veterans corner, okay, okay, as upcoming events for citizens in Wakefield if they wanna get involved. All right, I can do that yeah. because I'm just gathering a bunch of stuff now because that, we're gonna put our newsletter out and yeah. I wanna get as many things as I can. Um, like POW MIA day is coming up in Boston. It's a, the sad ceremony on September 16th. But I mean, there's things that I'm trying to get in to get out to my lady so that they, they, but we always tell the different organizations, if you need help with anything, if even if it's just sitting at a table and taking down names or handing out medals after some of the 5K runs. So we like to try to be at as many of the things as we can to help out. Some of us can be at all of them. Some of us can't be, you know, but it's, but anything I have, yeah, I'll send it to you, Paul. Yeah. And, and anything it goes, I have, they have coming up. It goes for Joe and, and, and uh, Rob and even, uh, you know, Dave, you, you, the information you have on your veterans report, I can pull from there. Um, so we, I just want to kind of consolidate that and then use that to feed the item for events that are coming up in the fall. Okay. Okay. By the way, happy Airborne Day. Today is uh, Airborne Day on the calendar. Um, that it was, I think it was uh, President Bush, um, President George Bush that said, uh, you know, we need a day dedicated to the United States uh, Army Airborne and all those that have jumped out of airplanes. So, I was stationed at Fort Benning where they do the training for the for the Airborne, and I could have gone in any cycle I wanted because there's always last second injury replacements and that I said no way am I jumping out of a plane that's capable of landing on its own just no <laughs> I jumped and it is awesome one of the most fantastic experiences I ever had my, my wife's done it but she's crazy don't tell her I said that. <laughs> so I. So that's the big <laughs> I loved it yeah yep I I only have 30 jumps but only <laughs> oh yeah that I, I was with a bunch of guys that had over th you know thousands uh, you know that, uh, but i only had 30 that's all i can get in in the time i was with them so paul the only other thing you had on here was the uh there was a vab opening like for maybe for new members is that what you wanted to talk about yeah i the i sent a note to sherry i don't think she opened it up uh okay. for new members so I asked her to open it up and uh, let me know what the process is. And thank you for reminding me about that. Uh, okay. If you know anybody, uh, once it's open, uh, then, then the next question is, where is it posted on the town webpage? Those were the two questions that I gave Sherry so that we can share that with people that might be interested in joining the board. Um, the other administrative piece that we all have to do is um, we need to check in with uh, the town clerk and there's an online ethics course that we have to complete um, as part of the board. It's a requirement by the state and it doesn't cost anything, it, but uh, Sherry, I've asked her to give me the link to the state program. You go online, it's a training program. Um, you can get it, it there, there's no way to fail it. You, you just keep retaking the test until you pass it. Um, <clears throat> And then once you pass it, you get a certificate. You take the certificate over to town hall. And the, the clerk the, uh, at town hall says, brings out the big book, opens it up, and your name goes in the big book as okay. you took the class. So okay. it's, and it, it has a two year uh, duration. So this, this is a good time to do it. Is um, she so going to send out the link? So she'll probably send the link to me, and then okay. I'll send it out to everybody on the board. Okay. So, and that's it. That's all that I had on the agenda. I, I didn't want to get too deep. Um, so I appreciate everybody uh, coming on board. I hope your summer's going well. Enjoy the remaining few days of the wonderful weather we have down here. And I hope it doesn't get too cold in Nova Scotia because those pipes will freeze. <laughs> you will, yeah, Dan. It's not getting too cold. You got time. <laughs> you got time. Okay, you got that's time. good. <laughs> Getting cool at night, but it's still nice during the day. It never gets above 76 in Yarmouth anyway. If you look at the weather report, oh, yeah. oldest place <laughs> in the province. <laughs>
Hey, Nova Scotia people, what is that pie up there that they used to always sell on the road? Rocky pie. What is it? Rocky pie. Okay. What is it? He's from the, from the English version. I'm from the French pie. Yeah, there, pie. There's a lot of different versions of Rocky pie. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my, well, my cousin used to say, well, you what when asked, well, what's in it this year, this tonight? What's in the Rocky Pie tonight? Could have been squirrel, could have been, <laughs> <laughs> could have been rabbit, could have been whatever. Whatever they have to get at the time. Feel <laughs> sure, sure. But it, yeah, like, it's good. Rocky Pie is good. Sounds like the, the Indians. Anyways, there, do we have a motion to adjourn? Yes. Can I, can I just say one to Joe and uh, also Brian McCumbry, um, I'll notify you if I have a meeting with uh, Steve or uh, Dennis Fazio and also you, Paul, so we'll all know to get things right. Yeah, we need Dennis, we need Dennis at the meeting. Yeah. Um, okay, motion to adjourn. I think Dave moved, I'll, I'll second. Well, who made the motion, first of all? <laughs> Dave. Dave made the vote. Dave did. A non-voting member made the motion and voting member seconded. Okay. <laughs> I, I like it. Like you said, it was easy going meeting. Yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and all those in favor were all ayes. Aye. 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 All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, we'll everyone. see you again in September. Bye. Nice Bye. seeing everybody. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.